the first challenge on it was to try to give this this a stop motion film kind of a realistic look or kind of a, like a more live action look so the audience would kind of get sucked into these characters so that was a challenge in itself because of the scale and trying to get you know we were able to kind of create a certain mood but we need we knew we needed to get lights onto the set and the key lights and back lights and edge lights that would kind of give those faces texture and eye lights and stuff like that so we ended up building some smaller lights that would kind of end up acting as you know our lights that we would be able to pull into set get that so once we were once we created those lights and made those then it was just a matter of to kind of keep evolving on that you know, as the camera would move, if something went wrong or the camera would sag, we'd have to come in in the morning and fix it and, and make sure, because it's all one shot, so if we didn't fix it properly, then it would look like there was an earthquake or, you know, somehow the power went out or something, because everything is so exaggerated in miniatures. Okay. So that was, that was very challenging. And fitting the camera into sets and into rooms and through doors, and because the camera's bigger than the door, we'd have to pull set pieces off and if you pull a set piece off, some of the light that was bouncing on that wall ends up not being there anymore. So then we would have to, it was the middle of the shot, so you can't stop and start over because that would, you know, put somebody months behind. So we'd have to add little bounce boards in and okay, now that looks good, but now it's in the animator's way. So as he's doing the next one second of animation, he's moving our flag frame by frame out of the way. So there's a lot of subtle kind of things like that as the camera is moving.